to Ashley's Mrs. Universe International crowning celebration. We appreciate um, you guys all being here. Uh, we appreciate your support over the years. She's been doing pageants, which has been, what, like four years now? Five years? Five years. Um, it's gone by fast. <laughs> well, a lot longer than five years if you count when she won Little Miss California, so she, that's about 35 years, right? <laughs> So uh, first I'm gonna open with prayer, so you can join me, bow your head. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the people you brought to support Ashley today. We welcome your presence, we welcome your spirit as you bless each person here according to your will and way. And we thank you for the wonderful things that Ashley's gonna be able to do through this platform. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Um, the uh, founder and the head of the Universe International Organization, Bill Hall, uh, out of New York. He couldn't make it, but he sent a letter for me to read, and this is from, uh, Bill's a, an amazing guy. He's a uh, military veteran. He's a major, a retired major. He was an NYPD officer, retired, and then somehow he ended up in the pageant industry. Um, he's quite a dichotomy, but a, a, a great man. And so he says this, Ashley and I go back two years. At that time, she became Mrs. Nevada Universe International and impressed me and everyone else with her community service as well as her general public appearances. At the pageant, she won the Best Costume, the Community Service Award, and she won the Hearts of Judges. Being an international title holder is no small task, but this Mrs. Universe was certainly up to it. From California to New York, she managed to make her mark Mrs. Universe Ashley Tesoro is here. The relationship is now entering its third year as she is now the new Mrs. Universe International and will hit the ground running since she has had years of practice as an international title holder. Her year was impressive, she is impressive, her family is impressive and supportive. This year, um, we'll see her in England and possibly other countries where her duties and responsibilities take her. We will all be watching, and many ladies will be living vicariously through her and her accomplishments. A great Mrs. Universe becomes an even greater Mrs. Universe International. Signed, William Hall.
to accept the contract for Mrs. Universe International, and I know she'll do a fantastic job between here and Europe and everywhere else that they, the mission calls. So congratulations from Andrea and I. Thank you. Thank you. Crown me and Sashi, ladies out here. Pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, and Ashley Pissor, members from the National Council of the Board of Town and Town Hall. Thank you for the honor of the board. While they're taking the uh, photos, I want to acknowledge a few uh, special guests. You're all special guests, and thank you all for being here. But I want to recognize our Lieutenant Governor and his lovely wife, Stavros Anthony, Mrs. Anthony. Thank you both for being here. So excited for this new year serving as Mrs. Universe International 2024 to 2025. My focus for this year will be education, children, feeding children, the elderly, and those that are in need. As the Executive Vice President of my own 501c3 nonprofit, Tesoro Ministry Foundation, Inc., I will continue to reach out to a hurting world through my public speaking, singing, faith-based encouragement, and attending charity events that align with my core values of faith, hope, and love. Additionally, I will be working with Three Square Food Bank in Las Vegas, Nevada. They are dedicated to feeding those in Southern Nevada, as well as providing school lunch meals for kids in the educational programs. As a newly certified teacher, I will be focusing on teaching and helping children in elementary school, junior high, and yes, high school. I'm a little nervous about the high school, but we're going there. <laughs> My heart is to positively shape the hearts and minds of our youth to foster a better and more productive environment for them and our society. And lastly, I will be continuing my outreach to women who are abused and also pregnant and in need of assistance for themselves and their children and unborn children. I will continue to work with Living Grace Homes as well as other charities around the country. My first speaking, my first speaking appearance will be for Valdosta Haven in Valdosta, Georgia that houses women who are battered and they are abused. We will be holding it down in August to raise funding for this important cause. And my first big public appearance will be in London, where I was invited in September to model for a dress couture gown company there in the London Fashion Week. So I'm so excited about that. I want to take the opportunity to thank everybody for being here, for supporting me. There's so many familiar, beautiful faces. A few thank yous to my husband, Anthony. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> he is truly um, sent to me from God. Like, I love you so much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's like, don't cry to my children. Gabriella, Anthony, and Valentina. They're so sweet. Do you just want to come up here for a minute? Enjoy mommy, you don't. Okay. But honestly, my children are so supportive. They're so involved, and I appreciate them so much. I want to thank the Big Las Vegas uh, Sports Club team here for putting this amazing event on. To my mother and father in the back, Dr. Mark and Pam. Yes. My mother helped set up this entire event. Can we give her a round of applause? <laughs> To my father, who is amazing and still, from the time I was six years old, has been involved in everything I've done in pageantry, and he still, to this day, asks me, oh, do you need a sponsor? You know, my business can sponsor me for your pageants, so I have to require a sponsorship. So, to this day, he still sponsors so thank you. My sister, who always, Brittany, she's a hairstylist, top hairstylist, and always assisting me in doing whatever I need in her beautiful family. Her husband, Zach, and their boys. I'm just very 
very appreciative of the family and friends. And thank you to our lieutenant governor and his wife. I know we've already mentioned, but it's an honor to have you. Thank you so much. We have Pastor David and Pastor Madeline back here. We have Ryan Ahern, owner of the Ahern Hotel, and his beautiful, lovely partner, Mia. And Tamaya, my makeup artist, Paulina, my photographer, all these beautiful families, the Jacksons, and every lovely plant family that's here. I appreciate you all so, so much. God is love, and we don't have to be perfect to be used in this life for good. God loves us as we are. He made us the way that we are for a reason. We don't have to be perfect or make him love us. He gave us gifts to enjoy our lives and to be a blessing to other people. We can't always explain the bad or the good that happens in our lives. Sometimes we have good, sometimes we have bad things happen, and we sometimes don't feel like we deserve the good, and we can't understand why we receive the bad. But the constant is, what I believe is, the very simple truth that Jesus loves us. And I would be remiss as a Christian woman if I didn't stand up here and at least just say that. And I give him the glory and I give him honor and praise for this position because to whom much is given, much will be required. And I take every step in my life with fear and trembling and I do not take any responsibility that I've afforded lightly because there could be any other woman up here because there's equally beautiful and talented women as me. And for some reason I'm here. So if I could just leave you with the last word of encouragement to whatever station of life you're in, be a good person, be humble, be thankful for what you've been given, and in, in any way that you can, help the person next to you reach out and be a blessing because when this short life ends and we go to the afterlife, which I call heaven and what I believe to be true, what really matters is maybe just one in person that we impacted. It's if we have big houses, nice cars, nice things, or if we don't, it really, at the end of the day, doesn't matter. It matters what we have done with those things that we've been afforded that not everybody else has been blessed with. So I leave you with that, and let's play music, have fun, and eat. Thank you so much. Hey, man, what's happening? How we doing?